dark, cold world out there. There's a time to live and a time for a man to die. There are places for dead men in the earth and the sky. Don't you venture too far now, cause you can't. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of Ring Respect Radio. I am Bobby Money Munson, joined, as always, by my video bro, the man with the angelic voice, Papa Smokes. And we have a very special guest joining us here tonight. He is the other guy in the finals of the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship match coming up on May the 28th for the championship in a ladder match here in Saskatoon. He is Sheik Akbar Shabazz. Thank you for joining us on the show here tonight. You're welcome, and it's always your pleasure. And it should be. It is wonderful to have you here. You have been a great competitor in Prairie Pro Wrestling up to this point, and it very much earned your spot in this Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship matchup, being the only competitor that has not been beat. But your opponent, Cannonball Kelly, on our show a couple of weeks ago, had some very interesting things to say about the level of violence he plans to deliver in this matchup. What are your thoughts going in? What are your plans going in against Cannonball Kelly? My thoughts about Cannonball Kelly is what violence does he think he's going to do to me that I'm not going to bring tenfold to him. Everybody talks about being so violent, but let me remind you, I was the most ruthless, violent, mayhem champion that Alberta has ever seen. I've done thumbtacks, light tubes, barbed wire, tables, fireballs, anything that you could think of, I've done it. You think Cannonball Kelly's going to hit me with something that I've never seen or felt before? Do you? I, I, I'm i kind of at a loss for words. I don't know if there's anything Cannonball Kelly will bring. There was nothing he said in particular that strikes me as something he's going to bring. Pop Smokes, what are your thoughts? Yeah, this is a really interesting situation we've got going here. First of all, Sheik Akbar Shabazz, thanks a lot for doing this podcast. It's a real pleasure to get a chance to sit down and talk to you. But uh, we noticed uh, at the last uh, show that uh, as soon as Cannonball Kelly won his match to get into the finals for the PPW title, you came out onto the ramp and attacked him, delivering a pretty severe beating to him. What kind of message were you trying to send? And do you think this message got through to Cannonball Kelly? I know my message got through to Cannonball Kelly, as stupid as he is and Johnny Two Fingers is. What I was trying to show him was it doesn't matter how good he thinks he is. I'll always be there and I'll always be better. If you guys don't remember the last time, and I'm sure Cannonball Kelly may have forgotten, the last time we wrestled, I dumped him on his head and I beat him. And this isn't going to be any different and what makes me laugh is that cannonball kelly thinks he had a chance at all this i i i gotta ask the question though do you wonder if this could be a swan song of sorts for cannonball kelly again he got his redemption against mike mcsugar in the last perry pro wrestling matchup uh beating the same guy that eliminated him originally from the tournament do you think that he's coming with us a, a certain level of intensity this time around that could be of a danger to your record in prairie pro wrestling no i don't i don't even think about cannonball kelly because the difference between me and him is i'm here and he's down here at the homeless shelter i'm tailor made for gold look at me i'm built for violence i'm built to hurt and i don't care about nobody cannonball kelly looks like he just left the soup kitchen every time he walks to the ring and the heat has been brought. I know Papa Smokes, you're going to ask a few questions here. I'm going to let you take the floor. For sure. You referenced uh, the last time you fought Cannonball Kelly just a couple short years ago in Saskatoon. Uh, I remember that uh, you delivered your finishing maneuver to him, that crucifix-style power bomb, and uh, just about broke the man in half. It was quite shocking and quite devastating. Do you think that's the kind of level of violence that you're going to bring to this match uh, later on in the month? I'm going to bring that level of violence and more. My plan is to drop him through a ladder on top of his head. My mission is to send that boy in an ambulance on the way to the hospital, you know, give him a nice, nice little vacation where he's fed jello, a couple hot meals a day. You know, just anything that he's, everything that he's never had. 
Sounds like the intensity is at a very high level going into this particular matchup. Uh, so, Sheik, if you do end up winning the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship, you are the very first Prairie Pro Wrestling Champion of all time. Who strikes you as an interesting opponent coming up in Prairie Pro Wrestling? Who would you like to encounter in a defense of the championship? Well, there's no if. It's when I win. So get your words straight, girl. And that pop you. It doesn't matter who they send my way in Prairie Pro Wrestling. I'll take on anybody. I've never ran from a fight. I've always been in the ring, and I gave it my best, which is always better than everybody else. I've beaten O'Doyle about a million times. I've beaten Cannonball Kelly. I've beaten who knows, who cares. So maybe they could find some new opponents for me in some other place and just bring them down. It doesn't matter who is in front of me. I'm going to be the champion. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep that title. And there's nothing that you, the fans, or anybody is going to do about it. I'll lose that belt whenever I'm tired of carrying it, which will be never. Definitely a fair assessment. Pop Smokes, the floor is yours. Yeah, well, I remember just going back a few years to uh, Saskatoon wrestling scene. Sheik Akbar Shabazz, you defeated Kat Von Hees for the Wildside Provincial title and that precipitated a reign of terror that had the fans uh, uh, had the fans really in a, in a state of uh, confusion because you were coming out there and really laying the hurt on some opponents. And uh, it was clear that you didn't care about the championship or the fans. What kind of a message would you send to the fans uh, uh, in, in the way that you're thinking you probably will win this title uh, on May 28th? What, what do you say to the fans? Well, what I say to the fans, it doesn't matter what they think. Fans are idiots. They cheer with their emotions when they should be cheering with their minds because they know deep down inside, I'm always going to come on top. But they'll chant for whoever is against me just for the sake of booing me and not being on the side of the winning team. The only thing I have to say is I'm not a bad guy. Okay, I came into Prairie Pro. I came into Saskatchewan. I came into every wrestling organization as the nice guy, but the fans immediately booed me before I even stepped into the ring. So everything that I do is because of them. So when they tell me that they hate me, they might as well tell themselves they hate themselves because everything that I'm doing is because of everything that they've done to me. So I imagine then every single time that those fans are booing you, you're imagining them when you're putting those beat downs on your opponents. You know what? It's just fuel to my fire because I don't need you to cheer me because what is cheering and getting people to like you get you screwed over left in the back. Yeah. It may make you feel good for five minutes, but I want you to hate me. I want you to come and see the things I do to your favorite heroes, your favorite wrestlers and anybody that's in front of me. I don't care what or who it is, man, woman, child, donkey. It don't matter. I will come on top. I will beat them, and I will have no remorse. Well, watch out, donkeys of the world, because you're in trouble when Sheik Akbar Shabazz steps into town. Uh, you have bolstered a very impressive record in Prairie Pro Wrestling, only suffering two defeats during your time with us so far, and racking up a, a ton of wins at this point in time, beating many of the people on the roster. And again, I say it, you are the only competitor to have not been beat in the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship Tournament this far because Cannonball Kelly got returned back into it through a draw at the last show. Uh, how does it feel to know that you are at the very top? You are the cream of the crap when it comes to Saskatoon wrestling. Well, it makes me feel like there's some kind of conspiracy. I had to beat O'Doyle twice for no reason. Cannonball Kelly got an ex uh, another buy-in to this match. So it makes me feel like I should be the champion already. Makes me feel like the powers that be at PPW don't want this man to be their champion because they want some local bum. And then they just happen to find the biggest slum dog bum under the bridge troll that they could find. Cannonball Kelly, who's, I don't know, man. I, it boggles my mind to think that anybody thinks he's going to win. Well, we'll end up seeing what happens on May the 28th. Papa Smokes, do you have any last questions for Sheik before we wrap things up here today? Yeah, well, just uh, hearkening back to our interview with uh, Cannonball Kelly and Johnny Two Fingers a week ago, 
Uh, we were talking about the Johnny Two Fingers sometimes likes to uh, insert himself into the matches. Uh, he carries that little cane around with him. He likes to jump up on the ring apron and stuff. Do you have a strategy for dealing with Johnny Two Fingers? You know, I hope Johnny Two Fingers does get involved because it won't make me feel so bad when I do whatever I feel like. I've always, every time I hold somebody high above my head, I always think, I wonder how hard and how far I could throw them. But maybe I'll play lawn darts with Johnny Two Fingers and Cannonball Kelly. <laughs> I'll just hope, or I'll make sure there's a ladder under them before I throw them. Well, we know that the intensity is at an all-time high, violence is at an all-time high, and the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship is on the line. It is May the 28th, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It is going to be at the Cosmo Senior Center. Everybody, make sure to get your tickets for the show. $15. You can get them at the door. You can get them from any of our sponsors at $5. If you're a child under 10 years old, if you want to bring your child with you to watch the mayhem that ensues as we crown the very first ever Prairie Pro Wrestling Champion. But hey, Sheik, as we're wrapping up here, we always like to give everybody the opportunity to say where people can find them on the socials. I know you might not love the fans following you all the time, but if they want to shout you out and uh get uh, maybe ripped apart by the Sheik, where can they find you? Uh, you could find me on Twitter at Sheik Shabazz. You could find me on Instagram Sheik Shabazz, I think. I really don't know. I don't care to talk to fans. I think you're all stupid anyways. You could find me on Facebook if you want, but realistically, I mean, I don't care. As long as I show up, I'm winning that gold, and I better get paid in full. Well, we will find out as we come to that matchup on May of the 28th, live in Saskatoon. Sheik Akbar Shabazz in a ladder match against Cannonball Kelly, the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship on the line. Sheik, we want to thank you for joining us here today, and we will see you, sir, on the 28th. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You'll see the new champ.